Welcome slides and agendas are a great component of remote learning. It provides additional structure and communication for our learners during this time of being remote. And also, it even serves as communication for our parents as well. So they walk by, they know what's going on. And even if our administrator pops onto our Google Meet to do a quick observation and they don't hear anything, they'll, this slide will serve as a reminder, hey, we're on break, there's a timer here, and you may have how long you'll be on the break, what time you'll return, and what to expect when the break is over just as some type of communication. I think it's a great protocol to utilize. So in the description of this YouTube video, you will find two links. You'll get a copy of this planner, which I'll go into some more detail about. This is my favorite one. And then I also have a copy of some sample agendas that you can also incorporate into your remote learning. But I wanna talk about the planner first. So this planner, I like the structure and how it's set up. You can see here it has an area for you to add videos. This could be your instructional video that you would like to use to record. That way the students are able to refer to this video at a later time. You can also record your instructions here for your students for your assignments today for this topic. The way you don't have to keep explaining it, they can go back and review the video or you can even record your voice here. So I like having that option. Of course, you can put the information. Maybe you're talking about polygons today and then some information here, important information, notes and details for your learners. You can add links to their assignments and images here that they will need to complete the assignment. So you can place everything they es essentially need here on one slide. Also, I can convert this particular slide to a slide that says we're on break and insert a timer here. We're on break. We will return in 10 minutes at 12.45. We'll be back. These are the things I expect you to be ready to do upon return from the break. So you can really outline that here. So you will have a copy of this by going to the description. You can personalize this for your liking, for your learners. And then also I do recommend using agendas. This is also going to keep the students up to date as what's going on in your classroom. You can even on one of them, they have learning goals. You can have your learning goal. What is the goal for today? Any reminders, even add their homework and our things that we need to knock off our to-do list today. So you'll have these options to personalize those. But maybe you want to create your own. I recommend using Google Slide, but if you're a PowerPoint lover, you can use that as well. Canva, whatever it is that you like to use to design, you can make something simple just to communicate what's going on. So in the morning time, of course, teachers, we get on the call before our students. They normally um, get on at 8 by 8.30 if they're in elementary, but we're required to be at work for 7.55. So you may start the call at 7.55. So instead of them looking at a blank screen, you can make a welcome slide saying good morning. You can have a timer on there because maybe it's 10 minutes left before class actually starts. So you can go to insert, insert a video, insert a 20 or a 10 minute timer, whatever, however many minutes you want, insert it on the slide. And then you can also go to your shape tool. And maybe you want to also insert a to-do list of things for them to do this morning, their morning work. You can insert that there for the learners. And this is, you can have the agenda of things for them to do. Get your Chromebook charger. Make sure your Chromebook is charged. Um, make sure you have your materials, any materials you need to gather. You can have all of that here on the screen. So instead of just looking at the blank screen or all of their students entering the room with their cameras on or off, they can actually watch this screen and get updated and the teacher is welcoming them to the room. So we like the idea of doing this. You can do this for break time as well or lunch time, whatever's going on. If you're working in small groups, set that timer, have that on the screen so that if anyone checks in, they don't have to say, oh, I wonder what's going on. What should we do? You'll have this here on the screen for anyone that pops on. So it serves as a reminder and it alerts them what's going on in class, no matter what time of the day they're coming in. And you as the teacher are not actually sharing your screen at this point and teaching a whole group. So you have this screen up identifying what's going on. So it's like an agenda, but separate slides. And then, of course, you could do your agendas as well. So you do have those options. It's just welcoming. It's more pleasant. 
it provides more structure and it puts everyone in the know. So definitely use your welcome slides and agendas during your remote learning.